My name is Natalia Cordova Buckley, and I play Yo-Yo Rodriguez, or Slingshot. And her superpowers are running really, really fast, but she always yo-yos back to where she started. Being part of the Slingshot Digital Series is very, very special. It explores her story between season three and four, and it explores a lot of her stance within the institution of S.H.I.E.L.D. and anything that has to do with bureaucracy or government. Mostly for me, it's, also, it's, it's been a bit of studying how she feels about having these powers and how to use them and with whom to use them and who, with whom to team up or not. I, I've never had a lead in a TV show. I, I've, I've never held a full uh, story on my shoulders, so I'm learning so much about myself and how to build a character. I don't know why you hold on to that thing. My good luck charm. There's a lot of me in Yo-Yo, and there's a lot of Yo-Yo in me, so she's been a blessing to get to portray. They've written her so human. She's got this incredibly strong side. In Slingshot, we were going to see a lot of her anger and her pain come out uh, in regards to certain injustices that have been done to her and her family. But at the same time, she never loses her humanity, you know? She doesn't let the anger blind her. SM plus Sarah Kinsella, Sue Servizio, and hey, she's fine. Fast learner. Heard that about you. The story I tell myself is uh, she comes from a third world country. And when you come from third world countries, you never really feel protected by your government or your police. And I think Yo-Yo has a bit of that. And I think that's her whole struggle with S.H.I.E.L.D. Is she with S.H.I.E.L.D. or is she not? I think she really wants to believe in them. She really wants to trust them. But she can't completely silence that part of her yet because there's still that calling that she's had to deal with uh, injustice and, and the law in that way her whole life. So she's, she kind of continues doing it throughout Slingshot. The powers that be get twitchy when enhanced individuals choose their own mission. And if I went anyways. I think she comes to the realization that what makes shield as the team and not the bureaucracy or the paperwork or the powers above it i think that's ultimately also a reflection of us as a as humanity and as a country it's not about them making the laws but about us coming together and being involved and i think she has that thought within her that she can help make shield better at least the team make it stronger and ultimately i think she does find a family and a, and, and a group of people that she relates to and she feels close to and trusts. And to her, that's her shield. The vase won't be the same without you. I don't know what I did. I, I, I don't know why it's being granted to me, but it's a wonderful opportunity. I think it's rare as an actor to get something, a gift like this handed to you. And it's just really special. I'm very grateful for it. And uh, I love absolutely everything about that woman. Thank you.